What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to hit that like button for me. Share my content if you feel the want or need to do so. And also, please check out the services that I have available on watamommy.com. Let's talk about this next download. You are the bane of someone's existence, okay? You irritate this person's soul. They can't stand you. They wake up to they they wake up in the morning to hate you, hate on you all day, all night. This person be up at night. And I'm talking about this in particular because of the moon that we are in right now. This person be up all night, spiritually attacking you. And this has been going on for quite some time. If this person looks at themselves, they'll realize that their hatred for you is draining them. Okay? But they are just hell-bent on conquering you. So, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this, please? And thank you. Look, joke's on them. I'm trying to tell you, like, all of this energy that they're putting into hating you is only destroying themselves. You know, it's a slow burn for them. They feel like they're doing a slow burn on you. But, you, you know, you are definitely not affected by anything that they're doing. They get, they rocks off in little ways doing insignificant things that you don't even notice, but it's big to them. It's like a victory. It's like an achievement. You know, they're sitting on top of the wheel in their mind if they're able to do something minute and subtle against you and get away with it. Like, but you're not even... <laughs> You not even pay attention to this person, Lord help it. I'm telling you, I'm picking up on somebody that just, they cannot stand you and you do not care. So what else, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit, because I'm telling you, this person eating they self up. They think they eating you up over time that eventually they're going to be able to break you or cause some sort of final ending for you, but they doing it to themselves, I'm telling you. <clears throat> look and look what hit the table leave well enough alone this person does not know how to leave well enough alone they've been coming for you for eons for years at this point so if you've been coming for somebody for years trying to spiritually attack them hurt and harm them even on the physical realm defame them cause losses for them like this person and tried it all against you yet you are still thriving you still winning you still look better than them okay it's it's all of that this is some sort of energy who feels like they should be perceived as bet look their insecurity is showing I can't get it out my mouth thank you holy spirit they feel like they're better than you and they should be perceived as better than you, but they're not. And their insecurity has been showing about you, okay? But they still keep coming for you. You are the bane of their existence. They can't stop watching and talking about you. And whoever I'm talking to, this person pops up in your energy randomly. This person, you know who this is. <clears throat> They've made themselves known to you that they are an enemy of yours okay it is what it is so whoever i'm speaking to you know who this is referencing and you know that this person is insecure and when they randomly pop up in your energy you may even feel the need to cleanse yourself take a spiritual bath like their energy is funky okay you can feel them trying to come for you, but it's like, whatever. <clears throat> Look, I'm telling you, this person did it all. They still doing it. 
This person has hacked into your email account somehow. This person has created fake accounts in your name, stolen your pictures and created fake accounts, whether it's on social media or other platforms in your name, child. They done did it all. When I tell you they done done it all, they've done it all. And look, it all get returned right back to them, like I said. Everything they think they've been doing against you over these past few years has actually screwed them up. If they sit down and assess their life, they will see that they have fallen and they continue to fall. The more they come for you, the more that energy is going to be returned to sender. This demise that they're trying to cause for your life and you will receive abundance and prosperity in return. Whoever I'm picking up on, this person just tried to do something to you again. Now, spiritually, and you just got a blessing today because of it. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Excuse me, honey. Pride and ego. This person was in their pride and ego against you, against you. I was about to say against you again. Once again, in their pride and ego against you. And it has caused some sort of unexpected prosperity for you because it's not your fault. It wasn't your fault. This person's reasons for coming for you are not your fault. Their insecurities don't have anything to do with you. You are a very creative individual. You could be a writer or an author. You could enjoy reading and writing. These are all characteristics of yourself that I feel this person is jealous of as well. And you own to something new. Like I said, you're not, you're well aware of this enemy, enemy who has this long-term vendetta against you. You're well aware of some of the antics that they have participated in and come up with against you, but you're always moving forward to something new. You're not relishing on the past. You probably don't even have to remember some of the stuff that this person has done, okay? Because you know what universal law says and what's understood don't have to be explained, okay? You already know if this person keep coming for you and you are remaining at a high vibration in alignment with the universe, the, the divine, the most high, the Holy Spirit, this shit gonna go right back where it came from. And her life is indication of that. <clears throat> okay? So, you know, at this point, it's like, you just gotta let people do it to themselves. You know, you can't even worry about ice, you got to let them ice themselves right on out the picture. You got to let them put themselves in the freezer. Okay? Because that's what she doing. I'm telling you, it's something like she's headed towards some sort of final ending for herself. So I guess this is a feminine. And you are over there thriving and prospering. Okay? You are able to produce some sort of cornucopia, some sort of security and stability for yourself. This is the energy you're in. This person is watching you thrive. They can't stop talking about you. Like people know this person is obsessed with you, okay? They showed their hand a long time ago with the different antics the different, look, and the song that just came on is anything to get your attention. When I tell you this person and did any and everything trying to get people to pay attention to you in a negative way, to get you to acknowledge them and their behavior, to stop you overall. They done did it all. Do you hear me now? And you still continue to thrive in this plant lover energy. And I'm telling you, that's what they done did as well. I'm picking up on the spiritual antics, most especially. We already see what they've been out here doing on the digital realm and the physical realm, though. But this person just did something spiritual now. 
to try to cause a loss for you again. And whoever I'm picking up on, you just caught a win. An unexpected win today. Okay? Clarify, Holy Spirit. Love then hit the table, child. This magic somebody just did then brought love and light into your life. Something has happened today. Somebody showed you love. Somebody is planning to come in and love on you. Somebody may be coming in to tell you the truth in order to rekindle and repair a love. Okay, see, they didn't brought love into your life, the truth, the light into your life. So somebody may be coming to actually reunite with you because this person tried to cause a loss for you. I'm picking up that you got some sort of that could be the unexpected blessing, but you may have also received an, a monetary win of some kind too. But love is on its way as well if it didn't arrive on your doorstep today. Okay, more clarity. Sanctuary, but it's in reverse. Jera, year harvest energy. I'm telling you, you just got some sort of unexpected blessing that is going to improve your foundation improve your long-term stability sanctuary is in reverse so this person may have tried to do something to stop you from having a home a, a sanctuary a domicile but it actually increased your harvest okay because i'm telling you i'm picking up on the love and the prosperity that you have received so for example if you were trying to get approved for a home or you were trying to move somewhere else or do something in relation to your domicile, remodel that motherfucker, whatever it is that you was doing. This person tried to do some spell work in the last 24 hours to make you lose your home, for you to be homeless, for you to have problems with your sanctuary. And it's then brought in love and prosperity, child. Because this whole can't balance their dark side. That's it and that's all. And they not realizing that the math is not mathing when it comes to them trying to successfully cause misfortune and loss in your life. It's not never going to math. Look, jokes on them, child. Jokes on them. They a whole clown. And they think they be doing something. But they a whole clown at this point to the universe. And the people that are well aware of how this person continues to come for you. They swear they hate you so bad. They swear you evil. They swear you no good. Yet God keep performing miracle after miracle in your life. Because whoever this is that's about to come show you love, that whoever this is that you about to be eating, drinking, and being married with, they want to be where you are. Okay? Trying to tell you now. All right now. Hey! I want to be where you are. Okay, that's the song that just came on. I got to be where you are shout out to marvin gay they are secretly racist and colorist that's the energy of this person who hates you that's also fueling this energy against you this long-term slow burn vibe they think they do it on you child they burning their ass they burning their own ass to fuck up because i picked up the deck and guess what you the empress honey and you about to meet your divine counterpart, baby. And the more shit this person do, the more they going to be expo exposed for. They ain't pulling the wool over nobody damn eyes because what they just did has caused you and your, this fell out the deck, has caused you and your divine masculine to team up spiritually. Okay? She triggered your divine counterpart coming in this time. Mm. She ain't think that was gonna happen. She thought she was gonna make you homeless in this season, child. 
She didn't she didn't made you into a wife or an empress look like though. That's what it's giving. Cause whoever this is, he coming in with no hesitation. And I guarantee you, this is somebody that is connected to this hater. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Goodness. Look, the most high has the final say. No one is in full control. Wedding, marriage. I can tell you how I feel about you night and day. I'm trying to tell you. That's their energy. She, she didn't brought in your husband. You need to thank her. At this point, it's really given that every time she do some magic on you, you gonna get blessed at this point in the game. Okay. That's what the hoe ain't understanding. That's why this mathematics came out here. That's why this return to sender is out here. That's why what's understood don't need to be explained is out here. And that's also why jokes on them is out here. Because she not realizing that everything that she does to try to cause a loss for you is only building you up. It's only making you ascend. It's only making you rise higher and higher. And it's causing her to drop lower and lower. And it's going to continue to remain that way. Because see, you've already passed some sort of test. Some multiple test. This person has been allowed to test you for years. Like I said, they've had subtle wins against you. They've done things and gotten away with it against you. But look at their life. You ain't got to look at their life. You probably don't even know this person's life, but you can feel their energy and you know they got to be miserable. You know shit ain't got to be going good for them if they still got time and energy to do this type of crap to you. And you're going to keep getting blessed in their face. I'm telling you, this is one of them. They can't bring you back down to nothing or bring take you anywhere they think you should go. Order my steps and I can't make it up if the Holy Spirit don't feel like that's the direction that you need to go in. If the universe and the most high God is allowing you to walk a path that they have approved and stamped for you to be on, this person can't make you go in no other direction. Okay? And they can't look at their life. I'm telling you, they cannot look at their life and see that they ain't winning a damn thing. That they are in fact losing. That they need to wake up and realize the truth about their own existence. They so in their feelings about you being existing and being who you are. That they ain't seeing the truth about their, their own selves and the direction that they need to go in. And you know the universe is tired of talking. It's giving leave well enough alone for this person. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is, did they try to ensure that you wouldn't be in alignment for over the years? The universe been telling her to let him go. Okay? They been telling her that. But they swear that you press. I bet you that. They swear that you pressed about this masculine that you don't even realize is on his way to you with some sort of marriage offer or proposal with no hesitation. Child boo. We got sexual abuse out here. This woman may have trauma that has caused her to evolve into this karmic energy. Because she, I don't want to, yes, I don't want to say she no lost cause. Okay, I ain't saying that, but I am saying that this woman is losing herself trying to come for you, trying to cause you to lose your inheritance and foundation for your future is causing this person to lose herself completely. I'm telling you, jerk energy. Because it's like, People have said to her, why are you so hell-bent on 
causing some sort of loss for this person? Why are you so convicted in your belief that they need to be put down? Like, she really feel like you the problem now. She really feel like you are, you are some sort of stain on the universe that needs to be bleached out, blotted out forever, wiped out, excuse me, forever. All because this of a man, because that's what it's really given now. Whoever this is that's coming towards you, that I feel is trying to stay in the dark because they know this person is spiritually spying and trying to keep up with you and affect you. So, of course, they're trying to affect them. Of course, they are. Whoever this divine masculine is. But they doing all of this because this person want to be with you. I'm telling you now. Ain't never stopped wanting to be with you even when they was with them. And they are exactly what I said, a karmic energy. That's why I said, I don't want to say they can't be saved. But do they want to be saved? That's that's the question at this point. Because there ain't nothing they doing causing no loss for you. It ain't anything that God allowed them to delay. I'm telling you, it was some sort of test to how faithful and true you were going to be to the divine, to doing the right thing. And again, you've passed those tests. So, you know, at this point, is she going to recognize the truth of the matter? Or is she going to continue to cause her own demise? The choice is hers, child. Because she damn sure ain't affecting no choices in your life. Because this man still love you. And I'm telling you, just because she tried to spiritually attack you, the universe said, well, now I guess it's time for him to come on back in. I guess it's time for him to go ahead and do right by his divine feminine. Okay, we have entertainment. I guess it's time for him to find joy out of life with his empress. For them to be happy and enjoy life together. This man may already be around you, child, or this hoe may be around you. Who knows? Who cares? She ain't never going to step to you. Anybody that I feel is literally, look, the song that came on again. Shout out to Van Hunt, child. This the remaster, reimagined version and came on now. Is anything to get your attention? I'm telling you. He might be doing, trying to see what he can do to get your attention now. Because you got a weird neighbor around. Look, it's it's this masculine. It, ain't, it might, I'm not picking up as her. I'm picking up as him. She was the first song, anything, to get your attention. Now he on that energy. I'll do anything. To get your attention, I'll do anything to get your attention. I'll do anything. Get it, Van. Okay. That's his energy, though. Let me stop. <laughs> this man know about this woman fucking with you. And he may have done something to assist you unbeknownst to you okay so don't talk too much shit about him don't talk too much shit about him now yeah he was involved with this karmic energy but he trying to get on the up and up so you know if somebody trying if somebody is actively doing the work you can see the improvement you can see the shift you know give him a shot Cause it ain't going like this other one plan. And her plan was for him to be nasty to you, for him not to do right by you, for him to not see you as sanctuary, as his divine feminine empress. And that's exactly the conclusion that this person has come to, this divine masculine has. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else we need to know? Chabi. <laughs> 
I love, 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 love music. I love it. Aries, this shit then came out here in reverse though. Clarify, Holy Spirit. She, like I just said, she didn't want him to be your emperor. That's whatever magic she just did. It was supposed to make you homeless and it was supposed to make him hate you. And it's then did the opposite, child. If I was you, I would read some scripture about this hoe. Because she magic in child. Mm-mm. But you cover, honey. I would just read some scripture because it's the right thing to do. It gives you a, a look, facade. Don't be fooled, honey. Now, just because I said to read some scripture don't mean that you ain't divinely covered and protected from this crap, which is the whole point of this reading. She ain't. She fooled. If she think anything she doing at this point in the game is affecting your life in a negative way. And that may be because you already do be reading scripture. You already know that scripture can give you comfort and solace, understanding about things. And that's what you utilize it for. And if you read, read certain scriptures, you know that it's a fear not energy, okay? When you are in alignment with the divine and the most high God. God says, fear not. You been stopped fearing anything this person thought they was pulling off against you. That has also helped. That was also one of your tests. That's what I'm hearing. And that has also helped things evolve into what they currently are now. So the audacity of her to think <laughs> that she going to cause your life to be Look, she wants you on the streets. She wants you to be for the streets and on the streets. That, that's that been her long-term goal. And to not have no children by this man, too. But, baby, just because. I'm telling you, your ass might fuck around and get pregnant. Okay? As long as you got ovaries, you can produce. That's what I just heard. I don't know. This man may want to still have a child with you because you and him do have past history. This is your divine masculine. Y'all had, y'all got a, a spiritual bond, a soul tie, and it's, go it's going to evolve into a divine tie because she guilty as hell. Okay, she guilty now. This woman did some sort of wound magic on you as well. I'm telling you, you, you went through some tests and God let her be the catalyst, the antagonist. But all that shit that she did got returned to Cinder. All that shit she did got returned to Cinder was the sixth card out here. Because your spirituality is organic and you have proven that to yourself and the most high God and your soulmate is about to come in. Okay, because like I told y'all, universal law is most definitely at play in this one. And it's at the point in the game. It's at the point in the game now. We in the fourth quarter where every shot she hitting is brick. Because whatever she sent out to you, it's coming back to her. Okay? That's how that thing worked. That's how that power is transmuted and distributed when you send it out. And that's what she has failed to realize. That the universe is not accepting this bum-ass behavior that she's in towards you. And you may be lonely, not lonely, excuse me. She wants you to be lonely, but you might just be alone right now. You definitely ain't lonely. And you ain't finna be alone for long. Because I'm telling you, this masculine energy is real heavy, this soulmate. But he already know that it's some backstabbers 
in the energy is some people hovering and waiting to see what direction he go in away from this woman. You may be west to where he's currently located, even if that ain't nothing but 50 miles west. You west to where this man is located. Final card. Final card. And I'm dropping the mic. Because that's what the universe knows. Your soul is one of a kind. Your spirituality is organic. You in alignment with what the most high God wants you to do and be. And she just ain't finna take you off that pedestal or disturb your chi. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.